Hi, I'm Chris and welcome to my Homestead Allotment Channel. Now today I'm just going to carry on with my seed sowing and I'll just give you a run through of what I'm going to sow today. I've got three rows of the green Lalo lettuce, two rows of the red one, uh, three rows of Marvel of All Four Seasons, two rows of Rocket, two rows of Mustard, a whole 40 cell tray of a spinach. I'm going to chance my arm on these and I'm going to sow two of each cucumber, mini munch and a telegraph type. And they're going to be going in the heated propagator. They do say that they can be sown from February both of these so we'll give them a go. Just see what happens. I've always got more seeds to sow later on in the year. Here I'm going to have four rows of turnip, one row of swede, one row of African marigolds, one row of rebecca and some salvias. And then I'm going to have a whole tray of bolt hardy beetroot. And then here I'm going to have uh, my herbs. So I've got basil, garlic chives, chives, coriander, dill, some mint and some parsley. So I'm going to do a row of each of those. That's, they've all been programmed into my spreadsheet so I know what seeds are what when I, uh, when I take the packets away. I've also sieved some compost to put in the trays. This is, this is what I mean if you go and buy a multi-purpose compost. You've got all wood chips and roots and everything that haven't broken down yet in it. So best to sieve your compost for your seeds. That's perfectly all right to uh, plant out in, in bigger pots and stuff, but. So the temperature at the moment, it's one o'clock at the moment and Maybe you can see this, but it's 31.7 degrees in the greenhouse. And last night it dropped down to 5.2 in here. Well, I looked at the weather and it was supposed to drop down outside to one degree last night. So the hotbed seems to be keeping the temperature up in here okay. So I'll just fill these trays up and I'll uh, show you how I sow a few of these basically they're all the same dip a hole drop them in a little bit of compost or vermiculite over the top and then they're going to be having little plastic propagator tops on. right to begin with I'm going to sow the turnips swedes and the flowers first now the turnips and the swedes I'm going to dip holes. The flowers, they don't need to be that deep, so I'm just going to sort of just put them on, push them in, and put some vermiculite over those. Uh, the other two, I'm just going to cover with compost. Um, it's worth getting some of these trays to go underneath your cell trays. These get quite brittle uh, after a couple of uses. Um, and I've had it where you're carrying that out to where you want to sow your, plant your seedlings and the, and the tray just splits and everything goes everywhere. So it's definitely beneficial to try and get some of these. Now, if you're, I like to fill these up as much as I can, each cell, and um, you'll soon find out once you water them how much compost you've actually got in them. But I do like to make sure that they're Get as much growing medium in there as possible especially with these sporty cell trays the cells are quite small but big enough for the plants that i need to grow so with the turnips i'm just gonna dip a probably 10 mil down i've got to grow four rows of these and then the same with the swede so just dip them in I like the brassicas and stuff root veg to have a, uh, a 
to sew them a little bit deeper. Turnips, I'm going to grow four to a cell, roughly. So I sow these like radishes basically, um, but radishes I put four or five or six to a cell. Don't worry if you put too many in, you can always thin them out to whatever you whatever you want them to be. And then the sweet, I don't need too many sweets, so there's there's five rows there. Um, I'm going to put two seedlings in each, or two seeds in each. And then I probably only want five to begin with, and I'll re sow some later on in the year. So. <coughs> now, with these, I'll just tamp them down like that and then put. Put some more compost over the top just to fill up the cell. Now with the flowers. I'm just going to start a few of these flowers off now and later on in the year I'll sow some more. What I want to get is some uh, smaller marigolds. Already sowed the marigold seeds are long a long seed so probably going to sow two of these to a cell I'm just going to push them down two or three to a cell see see how they germinate Becky now Rebecca is a tiny little seed. I'm going to put a pinch, maybe four or five seeds each one. This is old seeds, so we'll see how they germinate. Like I say, this is more of a see if they'll germinate than a full sowing of flowers. Two of these are bigger seeds. Get some 
see what those uh, three seeds per cell. Like I say with the flowers, I'm just going to cover those with some vermiculite. turnips and a swede I'm just going to put some more compost over the top of them to fill the cell up. Oh yeah, so I've uh, just finished sowing all my seeds, so I'll just give you a quick look at those. So over in the corner I've got my brassicas under that one. Uh, these are spinach. My peas are here. Uh, my herbs are in that one with the vermiculite on them. Um, then I've got beetroot. Uh, there's my tray of um, lettuce and um, rocket and uh, mustard these are my flowers and turnips and swedes over here I've got um, spring onions radish more lettuces I've moved my potatoes over to here my leeks down there they still haven't come up yet and my potatoes are back down there uh, and the cucumbers that are there are going to go inside in the heated propagator so yeah, I think we're getting there slowly now. Hi, well that's me done for today. I've got to go off and pick my daughter up from school. Well, thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, then please subscribe, comment down below, and I'll get back to you. That's it for now. See you in the next one. Bye.